food tonight. Of course, as always, we're also on TammyPepperman.org. That's heard on No Borders Radio. Uh, also, No Borders Radio at NoBordersRadio.co.uk. In the UK. Tuna Store in Ireland and, of course, SSOTL in Scotland. And, uh, it's been a, a heck of a week. Again, uh, of course, that's a, a common phrase. Anything goes anymore. Um, nothing surprises any of us. Um, you know, I was, uh, contemplating things this day regarding uh, various things and years ago I had interaction with uh, Rick Perry's office Rick Perry of course is the governor of Texas and when you go to Bill and Bradstreet Rick Perry is traded as the general counsel and also the Department of Health and Human Services now, the Department of Health and Human Services was introduced by, of course, none other than Dr. Henry Kissinger in 1974. He was setting the stage, creating a theater through the National um, Security Act, of course. They had created the National Security Council in 1947. By 1974, Henry Kissinger had come in and maintained his Memorandum 200 to the National Security Council, maintaining that depopulation should be the highest priority of all foreign policy. Foreign policy, of course, is communication between two or more foreign states. Foreign states are defined as corporations in 28 U.S.C. Subsection 1603, a better view can be found at 28 U.S.C. Subsection 1610. And of course, 28 United States Code is the judiciary. How, how do they define a state, you ask? Now each court is a bank. 1789 Judiciary Act created a routing system facilitating banking into the original 13 colonies, which are farms or landed as state as by definition. And Congress, your transgressor, has been cashing in for a very long time. Not just this go around. Congress has been known as many things throughout history. Rome, Nazi Germany, Vietnam, the war theater, North Korea, Israel, Syria, Africa, Australia, and every other corporation that sits in the District of Columbia since uh, 1871. Now this is the same schematic that has been ongoing without a hitch since the historical introduction or historical presentation of Greece. You could read more about Greece by delving into the Homeric hymns as well as other texts written by Homer, such as the Iliad and the Odyssey, two of the most greatest fictions ever written. Of course, the attorney took the Iliad, the Odyssey, and the Homeric hymns and various, quote, resources, and interpreted that for everybody, for the world populace, and called it a history of Greece. The last count, of course, there were eight volumes 
of such history. Or we can go back and delve into the lawmaker, or lawgiver of Sparta called Lycurgus, whom also never existed. He's also known as Plutarch. And this guy's also known as Protagoras, or the protected one. Protege is where that word comes from. Plato. Iso means equal. Gratis means to control or possess. Isocrates, of course, was another concept. Espousing morality on the populace. Teaching moral morality within a psychological construct. A social experiment. A psychological experiment played out upon humankind since the inception of Polycrates. You know this is politics. Poly means many. Kratis means to control or possess. And of course, we can delve right into democratic theory. Demo means people. Kratis means to control or possess. And how are human beings controlled or possessed. Ironically enough, Democritus, Democritus, was the laughing philosopher who instituted democratic er, uh, doctrine of Atomus to name all things down to their smallest iota. Democritus can be seen in such as the doctrine of a biogenesis otherwise known as the Book of Genesis in the Old Testament. A biogenesis, a biogenesis, means away from life, mind, and soul, the action of. And in this, introduced to you after you are removed through shock doctrine from the ability to realize yourself Jesus is the next step in the manifest that next step is clear and present danger doctrine otherwise known as the book of exo deuce Exo means outside of, and Deus means God. God. The very next phase of democratic theory, after the doctrine of a biogenesis and the clear and present danger doctrine, is the action of taxation in exchange for representation which is otherwise known as Leviticus. Levy means taxation and Leviticus is the action of taxation. After all of this and a judge comes down from a hill to tell you that you are perpetrating the most heinous crimes against each other and he will protect you for a fee He'll also tell you to have no false gods. He'll tell you to have no false idols. And then introduce to you numbers and Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy in French means the second word, second Torah. The requirement of indoctrination, doc means teach, trin means three times, is that you are taught these concepts in three variants meta morality soma psychology and veda ethics aristo means the perfect one tolis means cannot be bettered aristotolis or aristoteles 
teaches you ethics. Our Socrates teaches you morality. And in the newest sense, Freud taught your psychology. In the old way, it was Galen, the father of medicine, psychology, and legal theory. And of course, Galen was not a one-man job. He's called Galen of Pergamum, alias Galen. He's an actor with many, many, many faces. Shakespeare was... Well, I don't know if he was a concept or not. I can see him in the old text, in the old charters. But he also warned us of the attorney. Which is interesting to see. As far as disclosure goes, of course, Shakespeare wrote one of the most profound plays, As You Like It, which is also relative to what uh, Jesus had maintained, Jesus' walk in the text. And in this, of course, he's telling us something very, 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 very profound, especially in the essence of the attorney being always, always, always the court jester. They just don't wear those funny hats anymore. And, um, It, it's it's so ironic that oh we can we can be so abused by a government function and abused by the same government called religion the same government called whatever you want to call it Stasi Nazi Germany Australia Austria Rome, France, Italy, and all of these mouthpieces. The Pope is traded on Dun and Bradstreet as a corporation located in the District of Columbia. And you know, I, I go off on vents all the time because I'm pissed. Absolutely, without a doubt, angry. I threw out my walk as a child. We were so egregiously abused and hated. By the beings that had trafficked us and sold us to each other and the related reactivity that stemmed from that. You know, I watched the destruction of my my younger brother. And all in all I kept reaching out to religious construct and I put myself in those locations and I kept bouncing around to try to find the religious construct that was going to help me that was going to save me that was going to stop the abuse and what I was witnessing. I 
and all of those things were horrifying presentations of the same corporation that was facilitating the actions of abuse upon us. The attorneys that were cashing in, the psychiatrists that were maintaining the game. Throughout my walk, when I started going down this this path, this this very very narrow path. I realize this was occurring upon everybody, every human being on this planet, in different variants, and depending on what we are accepting, what we are buying into, what kind of concepts we're taking up. what we are taught and indoctrinated to believe as we leave ourselves and each other and become so uh, disparate, so oppositional to each other by use of title, construct of language, culture, color, all of these different mechanisms of war. We wear many different masks and many different hats, many different vestments, changing our clothing on a moment by moment basis. Today I could be a female and today I could also be an individual citizen or Christian, Muslim, German, Australian. I can be a teacher or whatever else to the profit of attorneys and detriment to humankind. But I'm pissed. I've watched the slaughter of the mind through the action of psychological warfare. I've watched the slaughter of the body through the action of war as a presentation. It's a presentation. Congress, of course, is a bunch of playwrights. They write acts, acts of Congress. Then their director takes those acts and puts everything into play. Of course, their director is the general counsel, as traded down in Bradstreet as Rick Perry. Texas is a central hub of child sex trafficking because it's along a waterway easily accessible to other attorneys that like to traffic in children, easily accessible to politicians that like to traffic in children and females. And of course the presentation is presented to the human populace as a form of winning hearts and minds. You are so indoctrinated, you are just, uh, just exposed daily through television and radio broadcasting uh, mechanisms through the Broadcasting Board of Governors, of course the uh, Clearinghouse. There's also uh, John Forbes Carey. When you don't realize that you're in a war, how can you possibly know who your enemy is? I'll tell you right now, of course, just like I do every show, you're in a war. Satan is Congress and its children 
are called Barabbas, son of the master. Barabbas, of course, is also known as the attorney. To a turn means to pay homage to another Lord God. And this is what they do for a living. They kill human beings. Not just of the body, but also of the mind using those three variants on law meta, morality, soma, psychology, and veda ethics. Of course, this is all defined as psychological warfare. It's also termed fourth generation warfare. You don't realize you're in a war because it's so ongoing. It's long, a long, out, drawn out process of low, <clears throat> low intensity conflict upon you. Shakespeare wrote about this in a much easier and condensed form in a play called the As You Like It. Of course, this is uh, Act 2, Scene 7. Jacques plays the part. Quote, All the world is a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages, at first the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms, and then the whining schoolboy with his satchel, and shining morning face creeping like snail, unwilling to go to school, unwilling to school, and then the lover sighing like furnace and with a woeful ballad made to his mistress eyebrow then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth and then the justice in fair round belly with good capon lined with eyes severe and beard a formal cut full of wise saws in modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lead and slipper pantaloon. With spectacles on nose and pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved a world too wide. For his shrunk shank and his big manly voice turning again towards childish treble pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all, that end the strange eventful history, his second childness and mere oblivion, son's teeth, son's eyes, son's taste, son's everything. All the world is a stage. When you take up these titles, of course, that is the crucifixion of yourself, Jesus. And when you cast lots in envy, that is how you crucify your brothers and sisters, your mothers and fathers grandparents, children. You're not only taking up these titles, you're placing them as millstones around the necks of others. You've been taught to value each other according to what your house looks like, how much your car is worth, how many times you mow your lawn in a month? How you mow your lawn? I was looking on my Facebook news feed this week. Somebody had mowed their lawn in little straight lines and were so proud of this, so happy to have manicured their lawn in such manner. Presentation. 
Your lawn is no longer edible. Now it's called lawn. And absolutely, if you have anything else in it, that's a detriment to the appearance. And whoa, we don't want to slide ourselves in front of our neighbors. We don't want to present to them that we're anything other than this presentation. This casting of lots. It's a terrible, terrible place to maintain as a resident. Of course, in legal theory, the word res means thing, object. Going back to the doctrine of abiogenesis, that is what the Lord God did. Of course, the Lord God is also known as Satan or Congress. And the Lord God put you in the garden to dress it up. Called it his. It's. And maintains you as furniture. In a place that was once yours, until you started turning on each other and buying so many concepts, partaking of the tree of knowledge, which only bears concepts. Of course, this allows you to be entered into civil death. It's not the death of the body, it's the death of the mind. You've abjured the realm, you're asking another to represent you, you're asking another to be the authority, and indeed, First Corinthians 6, you're fornicating with the Lord God by giving it your body. By which it generates revenue and garners derivatives and trades on your future and that of your children. Gender stems from the word genus, meaning stock. This construct alone allows you to be traded on the stock market in many, many, many different variants. Not only for the court process or legal process and buying into feminism or masculism or racism, or Zionism, Islamism, Catholicism, Judaism, environmentalism, corporatism, individualism. But you're defending those titles within morality, psychology, and ethics. you got to be that good boy or girl paying your taxes, because if you don't, the IRS is going to attack you as a Stasi agent. And it's going to send you a letter, or the FBI, or whatever it needs to come and collect on you. And you're going to rush right into court and defend that title. I'm not a bad boy. I couldn't afford it. Uh, no, I don't owe that much. Wait a second, you don't own anything. That is the action of prostitution. When another is taxing you for your productive value, income tax, that thing is acting as a pimp. And rather than arguing that you don't owe that much or Maintaining I'm so sorry I couldn't afford to pay my taxes. It would be a good idea to go after the guy that wants to be your pimp. In the action of prostitution. All the world is a stage. And you frown on prostitution. A lot of you out there frown on prostitution. Oh, that's just yucky. Why is it yucky? If you're selling your own body and you enjoy sex, which is what every other biology on this planet does, except for humanity. Humanity has been taught that sex is illegal. That guy's ugly. That girl's fat. 
they're black, brown, Christian, Muslim. I, I don't want to have anything to do with them. That makes sex illegal, doesn't it? And in that, the Lord God there is controlling you as a farm animal on a farm colony. Butterflies and moths live for approximately seven days, and the entire existence of a butterfly or a moth is to breed. It, it, it enjoys the sunlight, enjoys the habitat that it's in, and it has sex until it's death. course it's not a farm animal on a farm it's able to enjoy unless a scientist grabs it and sticks a pin through it or it's eaten by something but that's a quick and painless uh, demise the majority of the time I was I'm always contemplating the actions of other biology outside of human life and um, it amazes me that uh, for example I can pull up right now on YouTube numerous videos of lions and other animals playing with each other yesterday I was watching one with a lion playing with a puppy and puppy was cleaning the lion's teeth and the lion was tasting all of these things and experiencing the, the joy that comes with being any other biology outside of humanity and of course the lion wasn't hungry so it wasn't going to eat the dog lions don't have a propensity to kill they are required to kill for their survival but when they're not hungry they're not aggressive corporate counsel general counsel must have one heck of a stomach because it it continuously kills and slaughters humankind for financial gain it doesn't have any thought to color race or religion other than that that's part of the business schematic the promotion of civil war has always been beneficial to attorneys in this show this presentation we'll just call it as you like it because that's what it is you're consenting you are consenting to all of this as you like it film production involves several major stages Number one, development. The first stage in which the ideas for the film are created, rights to books and plays are brought, bought, etc., and the screenplay is written. You can go to USAID or USAID and find out more about the development of these productions. Financing for the project has to be sought and greenlit. Congress offers you a bill, doesn't it? Here we go with the financing. Pre-production preparations are made for the shoot in which cast and film crew are hired. Locations are selected and sets are built. For anyone out there listening, I suggest you go study up on war theaters. These are the play acts. 
Now, of course, CIA is the production company itself. It produces intelligence on behalf of the United States Incorporated. You can find that in Book 4 of the Church Committee Reports, Supplementary Detailed Staff Reports on Foreign and Military Intelligence, page 12. The next phase of filmmaking is the production. The raw elements for a film are recorded during the film shoot. If you would like more information on this, please go to Courtroom Sciences Incorporated. CSI is the forum's videographer for chapter quarterly events. These videos are available in forum, to forum members in the video library and provide a valuable resource for continuing legal and best practices education. CSI is a full-service litigation company prepared to handle all trial needs. Our comprehensive to grasp with a grasping motion support of legal team spans all phases of client engagement from discovery through trial. We stand ready to help you meet the demanding trial schedules of clients around the courthouse, around the clock, and around the nation. Our expertise oops, lost my place here. Our expertise today encompasses virtually the entire spectrum of legal specialties from aviation, antitrust matters, and patent disputes to personal liability matters. We are proud of our reputation in the legal community. Fortune 100 corporations and veteran trial lawyers throughout the United States Incorporated have called upon us for insights into how best to present their cases to a jury. Their first uh, available product on their site, of course, is their witness training video. You know, because what you presume or perceive as a witness is not really a, li a witness when it comes to the production of films rather than actually evidencing anything. The requirement of general counsel is that witnesses are trained. They are presented with intel, artificial intelligence. And then they can maintain as the various actors in the play. You can find more information on this at uh, Courtroom Sciences Incorporated. Dot com. It looks like President is Brent L. Dobbs, President and CEO, located in uh, Dallas, Texas. Of course, the one of the major hubs for child and female trafficking across the globe. The next phase in film production is post-production activities. The images, sound, and visual effects of the recorded film are edited. I urge everybody to go look up what a gag order is. A gag order is also known as a gagging order or suppression order. It's an order typically a legal order by a court or government restricting information or comment from being made public or in some cases passed on to any authorized, unauthorized third party. The phrase may sometimes be used of a private order by an employer or other institution. Gag orders may be used, for example, to keep legitimate trade secrets of a company, to protect the integrity of ongoing police or military operations, or to protect the privacy of victims or minors. Now, Hitler said that one. He says, you know what? <laughs> if you tell him it's for the kids, you can do anything. Final phase in film production is, of course, distribution. The finished film is distributed and screened in cinemas and or released on home entertainment. For this one, I urge everybody to go please see the Broadcasting Board of Governors.
bbg.gov. The Broadcasting Board of Governors or BBG is both the name of the independent federal agency that oversees all United States Incorporated civilian international media and the name of the board that governs these broadcasts. On February 21 or February 1st, 2013, John Forbes Carey became the 68th Secretary of State to the United States Incorporated. That is the clearinghouse. And the requirement is, is that humanity be indoctrinated so that they may be used as product in this corporation. This thing is also known as a livery company. Started out way back at the separation of the spiritual and temporal. The Lord's Bishop, Bishops, the, uh, the Lord's spiritual of the mind and the Lord's temporal came in and recognized that something was wrong. And William the first, well, I am, proclaimed that the sheriff would be the steward of mankind. There was nothing else in between humanity and their kingdom. When the attorneys got involved, they shut up the kingdom of heaven by promoting law, policy, within the three variants, Meta, Soma, Veda. And they took over that library company, through such as the Law Society or the Bar, British Accreditation Registry. If you go back in time, the bar was not an association, the bar was a standard. And again, Shakespeare's As You Like It. If you set the standard, and, and of course you, you're on the stage, Matthew 27, if you the people set the standard After the general counsel, the governor, the director, proposes to you that you should crucify Jesus rather than Barabbas, and you cry out, let him be crucified, let him be crucified by casting lots. Oh, he's, he's low class. They live in Section 8 housing. Uh, that single mother over there has 14 kids. Now, Arctomom is under attack, by the way. And you're still setting the same standard. Let her be crucified. Let her be crucified. Yesterday, someone, a law enforcement officer, um, She's been teaching, teaching for 48 years. It was reported, um, now I'll come back to it after the break. Um, maybe I'm still working on, on getting there here. Um, he taught for 48 years law enforcement. And in this, he was going to retire. He's from Iowa. And, and I'll read a little bit of the story because it was absolutely horrifying to me. From the PressCitizen.com, Iowa Police Academy official fired. 
the embattled assistant director of the Iowa Law Enforcement Academy, has been fired weeks before he was set to retire following a 48-year career in law enforcement. A backstory on this is that in April, he announced that he was going to retire on June 30th. On June 11th, lo and behold, corporate counsel came in and threw in some charges. 48 years he spent in law enforcement. Corporate counsel took everything in one fell swoop. All they had to do was make allegations and get you to believe in it. in order to crucify this man. We watched the same thing play out recently with Casey Kasem, Mickey Rooney. He was the longest, longest employed actor, Mickey Rooney. You get paid good money. Two weeks before he died, of course, the attorneys threw in another uh, error, a step -trap. It makes the, the uh, family forget about everything that happened prior to that time. Of course, the attorneys were involved as the conservators, guardians over that estate. Mickey Rooney was pushing, I think, 90, it said. And they drained all of his assets down to nothing. And then threw in a stepchild, an action of shock doctrine. Of course, it shocks his family, and they're not going to go look at the attorneys stealing everything and raising his estate. They're going to view that stepchild as the evil one. where he spent a lot of time evidencing the death of Joseph Reynolds in Oceana County, Michigan. Guardian Ed Lydon threw their hand in there several years ago. David Johnny's got an actor to play the part, one of the stepkids. Stepchildren. And they, these aren't stepchildren that were minors when Joseph and Suzanne got married. These are, you know, they were grown, they had their own father. David Johnny's had put a seizure on the estate. Throughout the time of evidencing all of these things and the attorneys playing, they, they kept upping the ante. By February, they used the medical industry against Bonnie McCoy, his stepsister, which is Joseph Reynolds' biological daughter. And these doctors, actors, came in and diagnosed her with cancer. He said, oh, you're terminal. She bought into that. Now, last week, Bonnie passed away on Tuesday. She had succumbed to concepts, and as we witnessed these things, she eventually just gave up. Court had come in, and uh, John Riley, the stepbrother, had assaulted her while he was on the phone with 911. At the same moment in time, I personally the clerk for the United States. I was on the phone with Bonnie. I was recording this conversation. And so dispatch and the prosecuting attorney 
signs documents that there were other witnesses there that did not exist. I was also on the phone with another family member that was in the south at the time of this occurrence. So the local bank, which is the court prosecuting attorney, comes in and charges Bonnie with assault. Immediately I said I want the 911. Took a little bit to get it. And in this, the 911 recorded conversation was not the same as my recorded conversation of the same exact moment in time. The part where John Riley had assaulted Bonnie was missing. Of course, the court comes in, the bank came in to charge Bonnie. And this is during the time when she's diagnosed with terminal cancer. So now she's under threat of arrest. And as a female, she's unprotected. She's being preyed on by not only the snake in the garden, but by Satan itself as acting as Job. So she begins playing into this. She shows up at court. And the minute she gave them consent, they put a lien against her estate. And you can see this in the Oceana County, Michigan property records. Go to the record search. These actions are also known as capacity building or development through USED. And the local actors are, of course, real estate brokers and real estate corporations. Real estate is defined in the law as the human being, real estate. And of course, all the world is a stage. There's a lien on the United States Incorporated. Well, there's several liens. The first one, of course, was the $150 trillion lawful dollar lien that went down in November after they did the same. Thank you, Sonia Marie of the House of Alsop. She was also giving a diagnosis of cancer without ever having a pathology of cancer. And in that one, they perpetrated chemical warfare against her using chemotherapy, which is chemical warfare which burn out the frontal lobe, causing lesions. And still without a diagnosis in pathology actual of cancer, she bought into this again when they told her it was now brain cancer, although it was lesions created and caused by chemical warfare. And so she submitted to radiation, which killed her on November 8th. 2013. Immediately, within one month, we evidenced Joseph Reynolds being murdered in the same manner, always the same manner, by lethal injection. I was on the phone with the doctor as he was lethally injecting Joseph Reynolds with Haldol and Ativan to shut down the bodily functions. The moment I introduced myself and maintained that I now have evidence of genocide, he no longer wanted to speak with me. All of these things, of course, are on record with the United States court. And we've maintained.
contain the evidence throughout the predation upon humankind, the war theater of Israel, the war theater of the United States Incorporated, the Bundy Ranch fiasco, the war theater of Syria, of North Korea, of Vietnam, of Japan, all of these banking measures and schematics coming up on the break. Um, get this ready to go because I didn't have anything ready for the broadcast here. So <clears throat> we'll be back in a few moments, folks. Stick around. And welcome back to the second hour of Leaving the Farm right here on TammyPuckerman.org, also on Revolution Radio Freedom Substar.com. No Borders Radio, uh, no Borders Radio. Co. Uk. Tiernasur, of course, this is OTL. A few others. Uh, we are listener supported. If you'd like to donate, please visit us at www.freedomslips.com. Click on our support pages, TammyPepperman.org. You can find our support button uh, under the. Uh, no Borders Radio Player that does support our web development, uh, Tamworth Web. And every little bit helps, of course, as this is how we are kept on the air and, of course, online, TammyPeppermint.org. And again, that is thanks to Ben. Now, the General Council is a, a funny little uh, entity here. Of course, we're dealing with Texas, a major, 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 absolutely major trafficking hub. Uh, years ago, I was involved in the House case. Yeah, let's go back even further than that because uh, Nancy Schaefer, former senator for Georgia, was also involved in the House case, and we had submitted our evidence to none other than Alex Jones and others. We were contacting anyone we could think of because twins, throwaway children, had been removed from their parents and uh, family members had stepped in to adopt these children. One family member, I uh, can't remember her name now, but uh, Mary had uh, petitioned to adopt the children Another family member, uh, Chris House, had also petitioned to adopt the children. The children eventually were living with Chris and Ann House, not Mary, but Mary was the one that was getting the captive funds. When the houses found out, they started questioning things and saying, Look, we have children in our care. Why is Mary getting these funds? And the Plano School District came in immediately to falsely accuse them of abuse and take those children off of the parents that were loving them and give them to the other one. Now, in an ISP report from the school, a teacher had reported one day that the one of the twins, the male child, was acting out sexually. Both children had been wetting themselves and defecating on themselves. And in this one ISP report, the teacher had reported that she was undressing the male child and taking pictures, and the male child was not cooperating. That's child pornography. And children should not be subjected to that kind of abuse. However, in the Hitler youth camps, anything goes. So these children were eventually treated for sexually transmitted diseases through the Department of Social and Health Services. And the adopted mother there, Mary, had STDs, and I went through the entire history of Chris House back through his military history and to the uh, current time and he had never ever 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 had an STD although the allegations were against him the good one that was 
loving the children. So at that time in 2010, Nancy Schaefer had had it, and we sent all of the evidence to various entities, including Alex Jones. And in April, Nancy Schaefer was killed. And of course, we all started raising hell. One month later, I was attempted on by the Stevens County Sheriff's Office in uh, Stevens County, Washington, using one of their agents. Um, one of our other brothers, Bill Bowen, former FBI, was murdered in the middle, middle of August. And of course, then Jeff Cifalo on August 30th was killed. And we were covering the uh, anthrax exposure of humanity called the swine flu, bird flu, whatever it was called back then. As they were trying to pick it back up and, and promote the spread of bubonic plague and other uh, things in France and in California by which to maintain human beings as product, a corporation. Jeff was also dealing with the uh, actions of the United States Incorporated government against the World Trade Center and the clear and present doc uh, danger doctrine employed. Uh, Jeff was a munitions ex expert in Vietnam. Within those two years preceding, uh, another of our brothers was murdered, uh, George Zinkan. He was a, a psychologist at the University of Georgia. He was teaching compulsive behavior. What compels human beings to do specific things, acts of commerce, uh, consumptive behavior, all of these things? He had a site compulsive.com when they killed him they killed his wife and a friend of hers and said he did it reporting on Huffington Post which I, I have this uh, thing against Ariana Huffington and uh, she chums around with Jeffrey Leving who's another pedophile out of Chicago big wig attorney pretending to be father's rights which is a gimmick that allows uh, the concept is employed father's rights uh, parental alienation is another concept of court process mother's rights all of these things are products of this corporation And um, uh, Jeff grew up in, in Boston. He chummed around with Bobby Kennedy and others. He ended up marrying a legislator's daughter. And their children were diagnosed as sexually abused by the mother's boyfriend later. And of course, Jeff was falsely accused to move him away from the protective ability in order for the politicians to abuse his children, Jeffrey and Leah. And I pray that one day, you know, they will hear these things. Because it wasn't just me. It's not just me. Uh, I had very, very profound teachers that forced me to open my eyes when I didn't want to. This stuff is scary. This stuff is it's overwhelming. So the general counsel over at the general counsel forum, and we've talked in depth about the Association of Corporate Counsel, which is their little baby there. General counsel member companies are such as 7-Eleven Incorporated, A.H. Below, 
Accenture, Ace, Cash, Express, AEI, AIC Title Services, Air Distribution Technologies, Air Liquida, USA LLC, Airbus, Helicopters, Acre Solutions, Alamo Group, Alcon Laboratories, Allegiance Title Company, American Cyrenix, Amerisource, Virgin Specialty Group, uh, AppSpace, AT&T, Atmos, Austin Ventures, Baker, Bauer, Baylor, Bizarre Voice, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Boardwalk Pipeline Partners, Brookshire Grocery Company, C.H. Gunther and Sons, Shiva. You can find all of these members at www.tgcf.org forward slash member dash companies. Two. One of their listed companies, a company, let me scroll down here, something very, very uh, interesting, it's actually three in a row here, easy Federal Bureau of Investigations, or the FBI in Texas, which is a military for the sexual abusers, human traffickers, everywhere. The Crimes Against Children Act is a privacy law enabling child and female sex trafficking around the globe on a global scale. Another of their corporations is the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas. And of course, you know, JFK sat on the Federal Reserve Board. JFK also introduced to the human populace USAID. But if there is a production maintained that your co president has been assassinated, and all of the hoopla that goes around that, it maintains that you align with the state. Oh no, our president's been killed. And instead of asking, what's a president? Everybody bought into this. And of course, another corporation is FedEx Office and Print Services, Dallas, Texas. Yesterday, the day before we watched this murderer come up for trial and he collapsed in front of the court and all of this hoopla. He was a FedEx employee. I bought into many, many, many things throughout my walk. And ironically, this murder that's presented in the media now looks identical to Chris House. The gentleman I was dealing with and Nancy Schaefer was dealing with in the case of the twins that were being trafficked through the hub known as Texas. A friend of mine a while back sent me a picture of Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz and Alice of Alice in Wonderland sitting on a log and it says I've seen some weird stuff. Now I'll just uh, neutralize it there. It uses some expressive language. When I first started out in Father's Rights years ago, you know, I I bought into the concept. And uh, we found numerous quote, folks that were willing to help. And one of those was uh, Barbara Johnson of FalseAllegations.com, an attorney. They've got it all sewn up. This attorney has made millions of dollars throughout her time 
trafficking children, blaming mothers, blaming fathers, and quote defending all of these things when in reality the minute you have an attorney, the minute an attorney appears on your behalf, the judgment against you is solidified. It's called a cognitive judgment. The rest of what you see in the next six, eight, twenty years is all presentation of these gestures facilitating negotiorum gestio, what is known as the court process. They're the same court gestures as they've always been. Another corporation of the general counsel it's called G6 Hospitality in Carrollton, Texas. Of course, Geneva just had to be a corporation. Switzerland, of course, is a corporation. The World Intellectual Property Association has claim on all of those titles that you take up. I'm a good boy, I'm a good girl, I'm a good mom, I'm a good dad. And as you argue these things by legal process and, and variance on your existence, it can't even be called life, you're maintaining what is known as corporate welfare. You are within the action of the first and second welfare theorems. And I urge everybody to read that and I'll warn you up front that'll make you sick. The documentation on the first and second welfare theorems of course maintain that human beings are absolutely disposable and it speaks about how to recycle them. After the age of 50 your production lags and as your productivity legs, corporate counsel, general counsel is going to come up with a way to make you produce outside of using your hands and your mind. And the first choice always is through the medical industry. You're going to be diagnosed with something. All of these diagnoses are fictions. When you feel at dis-ease, it means you, you're not at ease. Maybe you're frustrated, or you're irritated, or you're depressed. Depressed means to press down upon. And rather than finding out or looking towards the source of what is pressing on you, you've been taught to run out to the psychiatrist and garner drugs, which is part of the first and second welfare theorem. The premise of trafficking children is reliant on especially females trading children in exchange for drugs. Now, she'll be put on Ativan, she'll be put on Various antidepressants, antipsychotics, Seroquel, and she'll have a very comfortable existence while her children are being sexually abused by guardian ad litems. And the attorney for her ex husband and her attorney, and the local domestic violence shelter attorneys. And that local attorney in the black dress called a judge, the banker, and those babies being sexually abused now have been traumatized by shock doctrine. And thanks to the priests and psychiatrists, these children will be holding on to concepts. And I'll give you an example of my personal experience. When I was a child, 
I was taught that my virginity was a gift to my husband. Now, the first concept allowed me then to, of course, be raped. Another concept. And once I was trafficked through the child sex trafficking industry and I was raped, I didn't have a sense of the self because I had lost my value that was presented to me by priests and psychiatrists telling me that I am a value, a denomination. This allowed me to feel like a victim, another title, for many, many, many years as I blamed myself for what had happened and all of the related fallout that comes with accepting anything from the tree of knowledge. We go back to biology and um, I've never seen an incident where a cat was raped or a dog was raped or a lion was raped, a squirrel was raped or a monkey was raped when these biological creatures come into heat they are breeding as to their biology I've spent many 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 years meditating on these things before speaking this to you tonight because of all of the constructs and all of the concepts that I have been taught throughout my life and before I could bring up this subject tonight, I had to divest myself of all of these uh, indoctrinated states. I watched my eldest as, you know, when I, when I was holding on to her, you know, that's something that Jesus frowned upon in 1st Corinthians 13 I said hold not your own I was holding on to her my my mind my my mind and when she found out all about sex she found out that she enjoyed it as as anybody with free will will do Of course, the initial action upon her was predation by the FBI and, and all of these entities willing me to shut up for so long. And again, in contemplation, I laugh now as I look back because she doesn't feel like a victim. She's not a victim. they were eliciting a response in me in order to garner my attention. Of course, I'm not going to litigate these things, and it took me a long time to come to grips with these actions upon me, and we do, we do, all of us. I, I still find myself divesting of these titles and these concepts because it's absolutely surrounding us. It's depressing us. <laughs> so that was part of the General Counsel's member company page. And um, I urge everybody to go also to their underwriters because this is, of course, the insurance at the back end. And the interesting thing is in their description. The Texas Statewide Underwriters of the General Counsel Forum provide financial and in-kind support for the Texas chapters in the statewide events. These firms and companies are partners in the mission of the forum, colon, quote, to improve the professional lives of general counsel, period. Wait a second. 
They're pretending to be your government here. But we already knew that, didn't we? 1947 National Security Act says that human beings are the enemy of the state. So, their platinum underwriter is Gardier Wynn Sewell. Gold underwriters is Aiken, Gump, Strauss, Hauer, and Feld. Andrews, Kurth, Baker, Botts, Baker, and McKenzie, Bernay, Maynard, and Parsons, Bracewell, and Giuliani, Carrington, Coleman, Sloman, and Blumenthal, Dentons, Fish and Richardson, Haynes and Boone, Hunton and Williams, Huron Legal, Hush Blackwell, Jackson Walker, Jones Day, K and L Gates, KPMG, Locke Lord, Lynn Tillotson, Pinker and Cox, Norton Rose Fulbright, Prescott Legal Search, Rational Enterprise, Strasburger and Price, Sutherland Aspill and Brennan. Vincent and Elkins. Silver is Bell, Noah, Noah Lee and Martin, the Berry Firm, Fernelius Alvarez, Geary Porter and Donovan, McDowell and Williams, Perkins Cole, Thompson Reuters, Wong Cabello, Bush, Rutherford, and Brucolary. White and Wiggins, Yetter, Coleman. Their end kind underwriters. Audio and Visual, AC Courtroom Services Incorporated, or CSI. Printing is R.R. Donnelly. And staffing is Special Counsel. Corporate member underwriters. These special underwriters are foreign members whose companies provide financial support for the general operations of the General Council Forum, over and above their annual membership dues. Alcon, Exxon, Interstate Batteries, and Spectra Energy. You see where we're going here? with uh, your corporate uh, governance here. Halliburton is also uh, one on the general counsel. FedEx was interesting. Um, you know, we, we knew about the uh, corporate counsel aspect years ago. And last year when uh, we were finalizing the case against the United States Incorporated, Senate and the House of Representatives, of course, the entire time we were having to provide service to the House of Lords. And in this, at one point, I had the, the uh, most interesting conversation. Uh, I was taking a nap one day when I got a call from FedEx, who we use as a second form of service. Uh, because we knew that FedEx was corporate counsel and all of these things, um, we always had a backup plan. And in this, uh, uh, this uh, conversation, of course, is on our YouTube channel as well because it was so uh, profoundly weird and, and um, all of these things. FedEx tells me that uh, that location was... It just disappeared. It up and disappeared. They couldn't find the House of Lords. And um, the location that I had sent as the clerk of the United States Court um, prior packages to was just gone. It just disappeared. And, and um, it, it's been an interesting journey. So, of course, GE is on there, GE Oil and Gas, uh, 
Gen Brand, General Data Tech, General Electric Capital Corporation, Gulf States, Toyota, Hall Financial Group, Halliburton, Harvest Natural Resources, IBM, JCPenney, The Dolph America, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, yeah, isn't that something? And of course, the concept of just in case crimes. National Instruments, we all know National Instruments. National Life, Oasis Petroleum, Occidental, Plains Capital, PLH, Quanta, Quanta Lab, Range Resources. S&B engineers and constructors, constructors, select energy services, state national insurance, Sun River Energy, Targa, Texas Apartment Association, Texas Association of School Boards, Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Texas General Land Office, Texas Health Resources, Texas Industries, Texas Medical Center, Texas Rural Water Association, Texas Supreme Court is one of the corporations, T. Fort Worth, Texas Law Book, University of Texas at Austin, U.S. Concrete, U.S. Risk Insurance Group, Valero Energy Corporation, Waste Connections, Waste Management, Weir, Xerox, interesting, very interesting, as we go through these um, days where uh, Jesus said it, it's freaking weird, <laughs> you can, it's creepy when you get there, heck yeah. From the AP, big story, AP.org, ex-Bush lawyer convicted of trying to kill his wife today. And you can find uh, the breaking aspect of this. Uh, Bono's Entertainment, of course, voted a report on this, I believe it was this morning. Stanford, Connecticut, a former White House lawyer in both Bush administrations, was convicted Friday of attempted murder and other charges in the beating of his wife at their Connecticut home four years ago. Took him four years. John Michael Farron, 61, who was also once general counsel for Xerox Corporation, was allowed to sit out at his trial after he said he wouldn't be able to handle the stress of it. You can you know, put two and two together there as to uh, first the cognitive judgment against him. And then his own attorney got a diagnosis, of course, which maintains that he's a very, very beneficial product in a corporation. Here's another cognitive judgment in Manila. Manila court enters not guilty plea for senator. Manila, Philippines, a Philippine court entered a not guilty plea Friday for a senator and dictatorship era martial law enforcer who has been detained on charges of economic plunder with two other colleagues, bringing the step if the case is step closer to what would be the country's largest corruption trial in more than a decade. The Sandy Gan Bayan court made the move after ailing Senator Juan Ponce Enrile refused to enter a plea to the large scale corruption charge. The ninety year old legislator, okay, this one, you know, you, you always know who's taken one for the team because they're usually facing some kind of terminal illness or they're 90, 92. You know, this is the same we watched come through um, not even a couple months ago with uh, Senator Farnham out of Chicago. He's now taking one for the team. It must be a one-off occurrence. He likes kids. It's not a one-off occurrence. He's taken one for the team. He's already experiencing a terminal illness. 
So everybody else said, well, we pick you because, you know, you're done anyway. And, you know, we'll take care of your family and make sure everything's okay after you're gone. But uh, see you later. Thanks for your years of service to this country, this corporation. Thank you for uh, raping children throughout your career. And he had maintained in media reports that he likes some young six to nine he said he doesn't like them over 12 years old you know that's too old for him that's and, and that's the going thing with congress members senators and house of representatives and general counsel and corporate counsel attorneys and these other psychopaths they, they don't like uh, they don't like uh, adults they like children they like trauma. They like uh, control and power that you vest into them while they enjoy your children. A priest's function is to rape kids. It's not an accidental thing. Psychiatrists, their function is to destroy children in any manner possible. And you can read all about this in, in a book called Psychiatrist, The Men Behind Hitler. It explains it down to the very smallest iota. And not only what was experienced during Bolshevik Russia, Nazi Germany, but what you and all the other yous across the globe are experiencing right now, today, this moment in time. As we are all in the same experience, contrary to the psychological construct of time. Time zones are a psychological creation used for commercial, social, and legal purposes. There's no such thing as another time away from you. These are constructs. This is psychological warfare, and it further segregates humanity when you're separated by time. You go back to their original charters and you find out that that is how they took the majority of your land. Not by writing about it or geography, but by getting you to accept the concept of time. You live in time zones. You say you live in time zones. GMT plus 1 minus 1 minus 6 plus 6 plus 5. Those are legal mechanisms to get you to buy into these concepts. Language, culture, color, those are classifications of human beings as a stock genus. You can study more about that by reading up on genus differentium. Classifies not only as to classification but also to characteristics. Eye color, hair color, skin tone. I've noticed a lot of that recently as the production ups the ante along the lines of my news feeds such as on Facebook and elsewhere and um, it's constant pitting, constant polarization seen a lot more screaming and hollering at parental alienation you know, for years they've been trying to get parental alienation listed as a syndrome. Okay, it's an action. If somebody's abusing a child, get rid of the harm. Period. And as the listeners know, if you listen to the public law on Friday night, you know, um, had a very interesting conversation. In Huffington Post in regards to a quote mother 
who suffocated her baby and posted R.I.P. pic on Facebook. She said that she got rid of the baby because she didn't want it anymore, viewing it as an object. So, of course, I open up with, quote, why is she being charged with taking the life of her own child? That just offended almost all of you. If another animal leaves its child to die, the offspring dies, and no one cashes in on the experience. When psychopathic beings kill their offspring, why are attorneys cashing in? How much is a child worth to the courts? Are they charging her as farmers for the lost productivity of a child that never grows to be a productive member of society? Why put a 25-year prison sentence on a murderer when they can simply be humanely removed from humanity, wherein they are no longer a threat to any other human being and no one cashes in as a pimp? Why is this tolerated? Of course, I got first comment that came out was from Luis Alex. And of course, it was a question. He says, "Having a mad, deranged one." So I responded. He said, "Do you want to be correct for politics or politically correct?" and shuffle it off to an institutionalized state for a while to be let loose upon unsuspecting humanity instead. It casually murdered a child. Now the attorneys want to ca charge her and cash in on this child's death. It is imperative that harm is not set upon humanity once it is evidenced to be such. She came back at me. Is how can it be advocated a system with no trial? So I responded. I said, Did she not already evidence that she killed an innocent, helpless child because she viewed it as an object to dispose of? Do you need an excuse? Is there such a thing as partially killing someone wherein we can mitigate this? and allow the attorneys to cash in on the death of this innocent child. Neil came in and he said the state is in need of capital to pay back the bank's interest. The signature from the accused gives them access to her units of capital interest which is more profitable for them than waiting for the accused to earn units of beneficial interest from a job. Absolutely. From Black's Law Dictionary, first edition, bank, number one, a bench or seat, the bench or tribunal occupied by the judges, the seat of judgment, a court, the full bench or full court, the, assembling, the assembly of all the judges of a court. A sitting in bank is a meeting of all the judges of a court, usually for the purpose of hearing arguments on demurs, points reserved, motions for new trials, etc., as distinguished from the sitting of a single judge at the assizes or seizures, or at Nisi Prius, and from trials at bar. But in most sense, bane is the more usual form of the word. Number two, an institution of great value in the commercial world, empowered to receive deposits of money, to make loans, and to issue its promissory notes design, designated to circulate its money and commonly called bank notes or bank bills, or to perform any one or more of these functions. The term bank is usually restricted to its application to an incorporated body, while a private individual making it his business to conduct banking operations is denominated a, quote, banker. These attorneys are bankers. This baby that was murdered by its mother is a deposit. 
via diagnosis. The mother is a deposit in the bank via diagnosis. She's going to defend her title of mother and the attorneys are going to cash in hand over fist. However, if you remove Barabbas and take Jesus off the cross, right now, this stops. That child is the proverbial Jesus. The mother is Barabbas. Chief priests and elders, of course, general counsel, corporate counsel. And it takes somebody with law, or Judas, to deliver up the product to the bank. And this is what makes your world, your existence, go round. And again, I urge everybody to read as you like it, because this stops when you stop liking it. If you are no longer entertained by females murdering their children, if you're no longer entertained by war, if you're no longer entertained by controversy, and the production set forth for your view, this stops. And Barabbas is held accountable. You go back to the inception of what this female is and what feminism is. Feminism is a means of teaching females in this society that they have absolutely no value whatsoever until they earn the right to be. And the majority of, quote, feminists are breeding in order to have a title, mother. They don't like children. They don't like children. And you were told this by the story of Eve in Genesis. Eve creates children that cannibalize each other, consumptive behavior, chaos cannibalizes ability or the metaphor of Cain and Abel. Gimme, 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 I want it now. Everybody's cannibalizing everybody else. Let them be crucified. I want to see this gimme 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 and I'm not going to do anything for you until you do something for me cannibalism you show me what you got and then I'll show you what I got cannibalism that is not humanity that is PC that's a new model of human and if you enjoy being the new model of human created by social engineering you are going to be held accountable for your works and actions the definition or the elements of guilt of a crime are that you have to have knowledge you have to know that it's wrong what you're doing and you do it anyway which evidence is intent under the public law that is all that is needed course there's no question on I don't care about her mental state I don't care if she was a single mommy I don't care if she can tear jerk with the best of them she killed a child because it was inconvenient to her no longer beneficial to have that child I can tell you from experience the moment that my baby brother hit three and I hit five years old or two years apart we were no longer fun we had free thought we had the ability to uh, analyze analytical thought 
And this is a threat to psychopathy. We were no longer something to sit on a sofa and dress up the, the family room. We were no longer fun to parade around in our little dresses and suits. And in that experience, it was the most horrifying thing to be a child of two of the most heinous psychopaths that could exist. And of course, that being our lot in life at that time, the experience alone was very, very important for my own education and the reason that I'm here right now. Without it, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be willing to spend my time constantly trying to show you what this is so that you can avoid it, so that other children do not have to experience these things. So that you don't have to experience being a product tricked out in court process or a negotiable instrument maintained in the negotiorum just or gestio or tricked out by the attorney the negotiorum just or. Now for further information on all of this, everything is documented inception to extension, TammyPepperman.org. You can also go to Bono's Entertainment. He is my producer. Our things can be found on uh, YouTube. And um, <laughs> that being said, I also have my YouTube channel, and my productions suck. So don't blame him if they're located on Tammy K22 or 32 on YouTube. That is not his fault. Um, I try my hand at it, but uh, I, I, again, I'm not very good at it. You can also find me on Facebook. I've got tons of, of information, and, and a lot of times I'll put the links on Facebook because it's an easier carrier of information. And it simplifies uh, the um, you know time usage, or if you can even say that, we're all in the same experience, and that's something that um, you know it took me a long time to wrap my mind around these things and the and the uh, psychological construct. But we'll be back next week. Don't miss the Bull and Rocker show Wednesday night, 10 to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right here, freedomslips.com, Studio A. Be well, everybody.